When you understand these things, you become powerful. When you understand that you are a product of eternity, designed to take care of God's businesses in your days, you are going to serve God joyfully. This knowledge will give you joy. And by serving God with joy, God will bless you and cause prosperity to be your portion. If you fail to understand that I'm a product of eternity, I was created from eternity, I was prepared, I was meant to do what I'm doing today for the kingdom of God. For example, as I preach here, I'm not preaching because somebody tells me to preach, but I know that I was born to preach the gospel. Paul says, who to him, who to me, that's according to Paul's in his own terms, who to me if I do not declare the gospel. So Paul understood that he was born to proclaim Jesus Christ. So whatever he was doing in the proclamation of Jesus, he knew that it was mandatory. When you understand these things, let me tell you, you become a blessing in the kingdom and also a blessing to your generation. You even become a blessing to your own family. Some people can serve God, but with murmuring. Murmuring. Why me? Why am I doing this? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? You know, if you serve God with murmuring, automatically you lose your reward. You lose it. And you are serving him because we were born to serve him. We are created to serve God. We can serve God. And when we serve him, let us feel happy that it is okay. Today I have served God. God place this man called Joseph in a certain corner. The city of Arimathea. Just put him there. Joseph is growing during his generation, during his time on earth. Some kids who were born together with Joseph died. But Joseph cannot die because he's surrounded by the glory of God. The plan of God is protecting him. Eternity has an agenda with his life. Mosquito will bite him and bring malaria. And the purpose of God in his body will kill malaria. Some kids will die with different kind of sicknesses. Not this one. Because God's agenda is in his life. He will start something small and that small thing will go on growing, becoming big and powerful. And people will look at him and say, wow, this guy is becoming prominent. This man is becoming very rich. Not knowing that heaven is working out something powerful. When you start serving heaven, even you yourself automatically, because you are the vessel that is carrying the heavenly agenda. My God, can I say this? Listen, I, I, I repeat again. When heaven is using you to fulfill a task or an assignment because you are that vessel that heaven is using automatically you become a blessing. God will bless you because you are now a custodian. You are that vessel that is carrying God's agenda. That's why when the angel appeared to Mary what did the angel say? Blessed why? Why? Because she's the vessel. Because she's the chosen vessel. Once God chooses you, you become that vessel that carried eternal agenda. Automatically, heaven will shower you with blessings. You are going to enjoy the blessings. The Bible says, Apana kufunga mudomo of an ox. When the ox is doing what? Huh? Hallelujah. Listen, people of God, when you serve God, you become the vessel that eternity is ut utilizing. Automatically, you become a partaker. You start sharing to what heaven is doing. God cannot use you and leave you dry. Do you understand? God cannot use you and leave you dry. As you continue serving God, you are going to flourish. You continue serving him, you flourish. You serve him, you flourish. You serve him, you flourish. Why? Because you are serving the king of kings. And God is faithful, is a rewarder of people who serve him.